What kind of country do we want to see? What kind of world do we want to live in? Our democracy and our values are under harsh attack. Hate and anti-immigrant fervor grips our country. The economy continues to fail working families. The Center for Popular Democracy is fighting back to keep our communities safe. We are working to protect the progress we have won. We, will we are on the front line of the resistance, standing up for what we believe in. Our work is guided by an abiding belief in three fundamental freedoms that all people should have. The freedom to stay, the freedom to move, and the freedom to thrive. My community is struggling. It's heartbreaking. fighting for social change. You can't go around just attacking communities without repercussions. Let's see what this actually looks like on the ground. In Phoenix, Arizona, Lucha, Living United for Change in Arizona, is a CPD affiliate. Last year, with a group of local organizations, Lucha ran a campaign to oust Sheriff Joe Arpaio, one of the most racist sheriffs in recent history. Lucha also registered 155,000 new voters in the 2016 election. They did it in just three months. When I was a kid, my dad got hurt on the job. He fell off a roof and he couldn't work for a year or two. And for that year or two, we were in extreme poverty. I ate one type of food for two years, three meals a day, because that's how we could afford rice and beans. They're reminders of how hard people work, how much they care about their children's dreams. Lucha is a grassroots organization. It's membership-led. They're residents, folks with DACA, they're workers, they're people that want to live a life without fear. If your child is sick and you have to choose between taking care of your child or keeping your job, that should never be an option. On November 8, 2016, with support from CPD, Lucha worked to pass Proposition 206. They won 58% of the vote and were able to raise the minimum wage to $12 an hour for 2.3 million workers in Arizona and to provide five days of earned sick time for every worker in the state. CPD was really helpful with ensuring that we had the resources to pay for the campaign. They connected us with funders. Helping us through phone bank, canvassing, social media. The Restaurant Association tried over and over to defeat us, and they couldn't. People said we weren't going to be able to collect 150,000 signatures in three months. We collected 288,000. They said we wouldn't be able to get small business. 380 came out. It was an understanding that as CPD and as Lucha, we could come together leading the fight, which was unheard of for a red state to be leading on worker rights issues. In the past few years, CPD and its allies have won increases in the minimum wage in Arizona, Colorado, Washington State, New York, Oregon, Maine, and California. In Denver, Colorado, UNE, United for a New Economy, is a CPD affiliate. UNE fights with workers and tenants to ensure they have access to affordable housing, safe jobs, and a voice in the decisions that impact them. I was raised in Aurora, one of the suburbs of Denver, um, by a single mom. I knew firsthand what it means not to have food uh, by the second week of the month, even though your mom is working as hard as she possibly can. 
So many of the leaders that we work with are hard working people. For the past 13, 14 years, we've been doing local policy change um, and that policy work has been moving really slow. And so we did a lot of soul searching to find out who we are, who we wanted to be, and what we needed were people. We did not know how to do that, where to start. So we were really lucky when we met the folks from CPD. UNE became a partner of CPD in 2016. CPD worked with them to realize their vision of becoming a membership organization. Before we joined CPD, we did not have uh, communities behind us, members, to really lead the work that we're doing. CPD also helped UNE raise money to put a minimum wage increase onto the ballot. It took a lot of money, thousands and thousands of hours of people gathering signatures and knocking on doors. We had to have a battle on television during an election year. That's where the Center for Popular Democracy was instrumental. CPD works to hire, train, and manage Canvas directors. Coloradans voted yes to raise the minimum wage from $8.31 an hour to $9.30 an hour. It felt pretty amazing. In Houston, Texas, Texas Organizing Project, TOP, is a CPD affiliate. TOP works to improve the lives of working class families through community organizing as well as civic and electoral engagement. No family should have to go through what me and my son went through. It's the school to prison pipeline and it's real and that's the story of my son's life. Now he's serving 15 years in the adult criminal justice system. I just knew it was some purpose for my life, but I didn't know what it was. Top is black, brown communities coming together to fight for policy and real change. Marquis, who was four years old, he was diagnosed with ADHD and opposition defined disorder. Marquis was arrested at 10 years old, handcuffed and taken to jail. His life was in the hands of a judge a court appointed attorney that had no clue and can care less about this little black boy. He was taken to a children's jail. You, you just want to pick your child up and just be like, come on, let's go home, and you can't do that. You can't do that. I reached out to elected officials for help, and I was just brushed off. No one actually cared. That was my child. so. It was up to me. I took charge. Really? I love being a student again. Hey. Hi. Yeah. So Texas going? Organizing Project, we are known to fight with two fists. You know, we organize year-round um, communities around the issue. Public defenders at state court hearings. On the other fist, we, we get candidates in office that, that care about our issues. High bail amount, police that mistreats the community, no quality schools. It took three and a half years to fight this fight. Before you know it, we like, okay, now we drafted a parent bill of rights. In one day, 4,000 kids was returned back into their community. They had no business locked up. Like other CPD affiliates around the country, TOP launched the Right to Justice platform, helping to transform criminal justice in Harris County, the most populated county in Texas, with 4.5 million people. We got Mayor Turner elected. We wanted to see change within the criminal justice system, just like we did. But we knew that we couldn't do it alone. We need to have 100 people there okay. to show our power. I know I can get Austin to help mm -hmm. us at CPD to put it out to national media. Okay. So. We got 179,000 people out to vote. Our community got out, talked to their neighbors, and told them, listen, we need change. So for the first time in 50 years, we now have a district attorney that share our vision. It's like I have been fighting 15 years for this. The victory does not end here in Harris County. We have allies across the country. CPD is working with us to craft the policies. Top and CPD affiliates across the country are working to combat the overinvestment in the criminalization and incarceration of black and brown communities. Here in Harris County, we changed, changed the world, basically. From the cities out strategy. Mobilize, galvanize the people in the city, and then you can turn Texas blue. And that's what our goal is. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> in 2016, CPD and CPD Action, together with its affiliates around the country, knocked on 3 million doors and registered 600,000 voters. 
and CPD Action Network is mobilizing communities throughout the country around municipal, state, and federal elections and is growing more powerful every year. There are 300 people who are currently detained at CCA. Things that seemed impossible are of sudden be possible. CPDA was able to make our local project national. Each challenge is a chance to unite, to resist, and to win. Each win leads us forward toward our North Star. I'm not going to give up. We will not stop. Join us.